Pseudocode is basically text that the robot can't read, but humans can read easily. And we put it in here to help us structure our code and make it easier for us to understand. We start by putting two backslashes, we call it a whack whack, and then whatever we write after that appears in green. Now above the task main, before you even start coding, you should write out the entire code in pseudocode. So everything that you want the robot to do in the code should be written here in pseudocode. Task by task, I'm breaking down what I want this robot to do when I'm done. And I want the robot to drive forward at half speed for one second, turn right, drive forward at half speed for one second again, turn left, and drive forward for one second at half speed one last time. Then it's going to stop. So after I've got this spelled out in a clear and easy to read way above the task main, I copy it and paste it all down inside the task main. And here it's going to help me break up my code task by task by task. So starting with the first task, I hit enter a couple of times, and this is where I code that particular piece. What that does is it makes it really easy for us to come along later and troubleshoot when we can just read in clear human speak what that chunk of code is supposed to do. So I drop in my start motor commands and first I need to define my variables so I need to tell it what motors and I need to tell it at what speed. Here I type in 62 for my speed but one of them I made negative. The reason for that is because of the way my motors are situated I need one of them to be spinning clockwise and the other spinning counterclockwise in order to go forward. I need to put in a wait statement and define the wait time as one second in order for this uh, section of code to carry out for only one second before moving on to the next line. Now I'm ready to jump down to the next task. I'm going to copy paste my start motor commands down there so I don't have to drag them in again and I can actually copy paste the wait time too but I need to change the direction of one of the motors so that the robot will turn for one second instead of just driving for one second. This next chunk of code is exactly the same as the first, so again I'm going to copy paste my start motor commands and wait time down to that section. Now I need to turn left, so I'm going to copy paste my code from where I was turning right and just reverse the directions of the motors so that I'm turning left. I have one more chunk that is the same as before. I'm driving forward for one second at half speed, so I'm going to copy and paste that from an earlier part in the code. And finally, the robot should stop after that one last one second. So I put in a couple of stop motor commands, I define my motor ports, and this code is just about done. Now I just need to make it look pretty. I'm going to get rid of these extra empty lines of code, and finally hit the format button and what this does is it indents everything, formats the document for me automatically, which on a simple code like this is no trouble, but on a more complicated code you really need to do for it to read clearly. This is one simple code written out with good, clear pseudocode. Now if I'm trying to troubleshoot this code later, I can easily read each task in pseudocode and then look at the code beneath that to see if the code is actually doing what it's supposed to be doing in that chunk.